Scully is my service dog. She is a hearing ear service dog. She is about two and a little over two and a half years old. Uh, she is a Boston Terrier mini poodle mix. And she's a service dog in training. She has been uh, in training for a, about a year and a half now. A little while ago, I was in a car accident and I started to lose my hearing in some really weird ways. So I have become disabled later in life and it's a new identity that I'm coming into. So I don't hear sound n normally. Oh, I, I hear things come from the wrong direction or I only hear bits of sounds or I hear the wrong words. I hear nonsense words or something that sounds like the word you said and it comes in and out. So sometimes I get some normal speech in there as well. But Scully really fills in the gaps for me in a lot of ways. And if anyone calls my name, uh, be it a student in class or someone walking around the building, Scully alerts me that someone has called me. If I drop my keys, I don't hear it necessarily. Scully picks them up and hands them to me. If um, there's a loud sound, if there's a sound behind me, I can't really tell what's going on too much. I might hear it in a different direction. So Scully can help me get out of the way from th uh, of things. She's also trained for ang um, any anxiety attacks or panic attacks. If um, I say her training word, which is if I say I'm sad, she will climb up and uh, put deep pressure therapy, lay on top of me with with all of her weight. She will kind of lay across you uh, with her weight and her warmth to keep you, uh, to help you calm down. She's very well suited, I think, to campus life, and I can't wait to get her started on campus. If students see me and Scully walking the hall and they want to say hi to me, say hi to me, absolutely. If you want to say hi to Scully, I am absolutely open to that. I know that with service dogs, and most people should also know that with service dogs, you're not supposed to look at them or approach them or distract them from doing what they're doing. But I also know that in this instance, I'm likely to be the only one in SPAD with a dog walking the halls. So I want everyone who's watching this to know that I am open to you coming up to me, talking to me, interacting with Scully, but it no, just know that it's just gonna be part of her training process that we're gonna have to teach her how to respond responsively to you while she's doing her job for me. Uh, and I hope that everybody is staying safe uh, in, these, in these scary times.